Hi guys, I want to go to um, this one, uh, Vico 1041 question in this video. So robot bonding in circle. Um, so this question was very popular from um, Amazon. You guys asked by almost 400 times. And um, so what happens is for this question was on an indefinite plane, a robot initially stands at uh, the original, the original uh, zero zero and facing uh, the north. And the robot can receive one of these uh, three instructions and G uh, mean, mean that uh, the robot can go straight one unit and L means that the robot can uh, go in the 90 degree to the left or R and the robot can go 90 degree uh, to, to the right, go this way. So uh, the robot um, performs the instruction given in that order and uh, repeat them forever. And uh, our function, what it needs to do is to um, Return true if the robot is, uh, if that exists and circle in a plane such that the robot can never leave the circle. So that means the robot will stuck in the circle forever. And uh, the instruction like a loop. So uh, it, the instruction will repeat itself forever as well. So let's look at the example. And we have a GG, LL, GG. So GG means, uh, GG means go, go and two step and then turn left and turn left again and then go go again so as you can see when go go and, and then turn left and turn left again so it's the robot turns 180 degree go back and two step and go back to the origin that's why um and then when when this um uh instruction repeats uh, forever and the robot is gonna stuck in the circle so and then the second one is gg gg means uh, it's not moving oh yeah it's moving sorry uh and then it's going uh oh, going straight for two steps facing north and as you can see, there's no turning around. It's only going straight. That's why the robot will, uh, will moving uh, to, to the north of uh, indefinitely. And uh, the third one is a GL. So G means go up. Uh, it means go north. L means turn left. So as you can see, go north and then turn left and then go north again and then turn left and then go north again and turn left and then go north again. The left, so go back to the original, so like a circle, like this. Do, do, so do, 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 so it's back to the original, origin, um, at the end. So that's why it becomes a true. So we need a simulation algorithm that can simulate this instruction to see if that robot is uh, stuck in the circle forever. And, uh, and this is the, my solution. So as you can see, um, this is the original direction. So because the robot is facing north, that's why it's uh, zero and one. And uh, as you can see, we can see a little diagram in here. Uh, zero and one uh, means that the robot will uh, facing north and it's facing west, south and east. So we have the, this little diagram here. This will come in handy later on. And um, and then we have the initial position of zero zero, and as you as you probably noticed, a uh, uh, circle of four is probably is a um, if the robot stuck in the circle, and four will just uh, it will be a complete circle. For example, when the robot goes up to the uh, to the left and then go down to the left, so it's a it's a circle and go back uh, to the origin. So four is how we can uh, it's a complete cycle i must say that's why um we allow this uh instruction to run four times so uh the liberus is pretty uh straightforward to run the simulation if uh we receive an instruction as a g means go so uh the robot will go to the uh the direction uh go along the direction is given right so um, the original direction is zero one one because the, uh, the robot facing north at the beginning. So that's why it just move along the direction. So we move both the X coordinate, also the Y coordinate and the update the coordinate over here. And um, when the robot receives a instruction of L, meaning that uh, the, the robot will turn left on 90 degree. So uh, as you can see, um, the direction the axis has been swapped, right? So as you can see, uh, the original y axis uh, become 
the negative, the negative of uh, the negative direction y-axis, the negative of the y-axis becomes a uh, x-axis in the in the new direction, and uh, the old x-axis becomes a new y-axis. So why is that? And as soon as you can see, so let me put it over here. Perfect. So as you can see, uh, when the robot turns for, for originally the robot uh, facing north, and uh, when it turns left, as you can see, the x axis becomes the y axis, right? And then also the y axis, the negative y axis becomes the new x, the new uh, negative x, and same thing here. So the y-axis in here, this case is ne uh, zero, is negative zero, is zero, and negative one is becomes the the uh, the new y-axis, and here is the same. So that's that's the um, that's how we can swap the axis. Also, I put a negative sign in front of it, and on the other direction, we and we are turning the right. So as you probably can figure out. Uh, we are also swapping the x for y as well. Uh, but in this time is, uh, we are, uh, negative thing. We are putting a negative sign in, in front of the, um, uh, x. As we can see, when we go, uh, clockwise, um, the y becomes the x and the y becomes the x. Uh, and negative y actually, a uh, negative x becomes, uh, y. So as you can see, the negative x becomes the new y. And the y becomes the x. So we put that relationship uh, to these two statements over here. So, and basically this just uh, simulate, uh, the execution of the instruction. And we put, again, we put the, um, we run this instruction four times because again, so the four is a complete cycle. And if the robot is back to the origin, that means it's, uh, it's stuck in the origin, uh, stuck in this cycle. And that will return the true if that's the case. Otherwise it returns the false. So uh, this runs, and also it runs through all the test cases. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's my solution for this problem, and I hope you like it, and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.